Praise the name of the Lord. Let's stand together. Let's open up the service in prayer. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. It's alive at five. Hallelujah. And I pray that you feel welcome, feel at home. Welcome to those that are meeting with us online. God bless you. And I encourage you to share. Press, press the share button to friends and family. And then encourage others to listen in and hear the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's open up and pray and just say thank you to the Lord for this day. For this is the day that the Lord has made and we will be glad and we will rejoice in it. Thank you, Father, for your blessings right now. I pray, Father God, for a move of your Holy Spirit in each and every one of our lives. I thank you, Father God, that, Lord, that you can anoint this time of praise and worship, anoint this time of your word. And I thank you, Father God, we cover the church with your presence precious blood. I cover the congregation with your precious blood. Lord God, we come against any attack of the evil one right now. We pull down every stronghold in the mighty name of Jesus. And I thank you right now, Lord God, that Lord, that you reign supreme in this house, in Jesus' mighty name. We give you all the praise, the glory, and the honor, for you alone are worthy and worthy to be praised in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Let's sing as unto the Lord. Let the poor say I am rich. Let the blind say I can see. It's what the Lord has done in me.
worship you. I worship you. you Lord God we thank you Father God for your word and as your word is shared this afternoon I pray Holy Spirit of God that you speak into our lives take over the service I pray in Jesus mighty name amen and amen thank you Lorna God bless you glory to the Lord Those of you sitting in the sunshine, you're welcome to move over to the shady side under the shadow of the Almighty. (laughs) Hallelujah. Else you have to bring your sunglasses to the sanctuary. It gets so shiny in here in the afternoons. God is so good. And we give Him praise. We give Him praise when the sun is shining in the dark of night, when the battle rages. At all times, we will give praise and thanks to the Lord. His mercies are everlasting, and His truth endures from generation to generation, and the righteous will know His voice and follow hard after God. Father Lord, I thank You for Your presence in this place. Father God, I thank You that You surround us with a mighty shield, and God, I thank You that Your Word will protect us. Thank you, Father God, that every evil negative thought will be held captive to the obedience of Christ. We tear down every imagination, anything that is not of you. Father God, we welcome your holy presence. We welcome your Holy Spirit into this place, into this sanctuary, right down into our hearts. And I pray that your word would teach us, your word would guide us, your word would direct us, and we would not be distracted, but we would focus in and concentrate concentrate on the Lord Jesus so that we would not allow our foot to slip in Jesus mighty name and the kings and priests in the sanctuary and online gave a loud shout amen God is so good welcome to this live at five where the sweat is real (laughs) and God is here And that we want to minister the Word of God with passion and love. And know that from this platform, we love you with all of our hearts. And we pray that the love of God would bubble from our hearts to yours. And that your heart would be teachable to the Word of God. And it's so wonderful to see the children in the sanctuary this afternoon. And I pray that as the children come, that the The parents would follow in Jesus' name, that the little ones would lead in Jesus' name in this way, and to us older ones, hello. (laughs) 
God bless you. I want us to turn in our Bibles to Isaiah 55. Isaiah 55. And I was just so compelled to just read the whole chapter and dive right in because you've heard me say this often. I believe that the Word of God must be read in context, that we can't just pick out a little piece and sometimes miss the top and the bottom of it. So here we go. Ho, everyone who thirsts, it says. That's how it starts out. Ho, 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 ho. Ho, everyone who thirsts, come, come to the waters. You have no money, come and buy and eat. Yes, come, buy wine and milk without money, without price. Why do you spend your money for what is not bread and your wages for what does not satisfy? Listen carefully to me. And eat what is good, and let your soul delight itself in abundance. Incline your ear to me, and come and hear me, and your soul shall live. Your soul will live this afternoon if you would hear the word of the Lord. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you. The sure mercies of David, indeed, I have given him as a witness to the people, and a leader and a commander for the people. Surely... You shall call a nation you do not know, and nations who do not know you shall run to you because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, for he has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found, and call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his ways, and the unrighteous man his thoughts Let him return to the Lord, for he will have mercy on him, and the Lord will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are my ways your ways, says the Lord. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. For as the rain comes down from the heaven and the snow from the heavens and do not return there but water the earth and make it bring forth bud that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. And this verse pastor said this morning, so shall my word be that comes from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it will first accomplish the purpose for which I sent it. For you shall go out with joy, and you shall be led forth with peace, and the mountains and the hills shall break forth into singing before you, and the trees of the fields will clap their hands. And instead of thorns shall come up a cypress tree, and instead of briars a myrtle tree, and it shall be to the Lord for a, for a name, for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. Hallelujah. So how shall God's word proceed from his mouth? It's a word that will not return void, but it will come with fruit to the Father. And I pray that the words from heaven this afternoon will bring forth fr- fruit in your life. Well, I was doing a study because I just enjoy the word of God so much, and I like picking on a, on a piece and just going deeper and deeper and studying it. And I was looking at, there's so many things in the Bible that have been said way before the scientists of 2020 even figured them out. Do you know, some people believe the earth is flat. God says it's round there. So did the rocket scientists. I believe it's round just for those out there. Hallelujah. But there's another thing that the Bible talks about here in, the, in these verses. It says, the mountains and the hills shall break forth into singing. So I was like, ha ha, do the hills sing? Hello, Google. Singing hills. God, do the, do the mountains and the hills break forth into singing when the righteous declare things and move in the earth? The answer is yes. I found it published even by National Geographic that hills sing. Tell your neighbor the hills sing. The mountains and the hills sing. Hallelujah. There is a place called 
It's a place in Chile. It's called Copoco. Probably saying it wrong. C O P I A O P. Keopi or something like this, okay? Well, this place, the scientists call it the singing hills. The hills actually sing. And they make groans and sounds. They sing about, there's a, few, there's a few mountains and hills around the earth, but that's just one of them, that actually sing. Some of them go up to nine notes, nine different notes that they sing. You can Google it. It's like real, for real. You can hear these hills singing. It's beautiful. Like, and they're groaning out the praises of God. And the scientists say that, I don't know, has anybody been to Cape Town here? Anybody had the privilege of walking on the Clifton Beach? There's a cliff, and you go down these stairs to this white sand, whiter than paper, and you walk on that sand, and it goes squeak, 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 squeak. <laughs> it's singing. And so the scientists wanted to find out why these hills sing. And it ends up being that the grains of sand are made of quartz, which is glass, and the grains have to all be the right same size for that sand to squeak. And you can imagine these sand dunes just singing. Hallelujah. So you shall go out with joy. You shall be led forth with peace. And the mountains and the hills shall break forth before you in singing. These sand dunes produce music. In the beginning, they used to think it was like, whoa, what is this strange phenomenon? But they figured it out that it is even the grains of sand. And God says that as the grains of sand are on the shore, so, so would be the children of Abraham. And are you the children of Abraham? So let the mountains and the hills sing before the Lord. There's, there's even G sharp is one of their main songs. I love singing in G. You know, the song we just sang was in G. So the, the, the hills resonate with us this afternoon. There's also studies that the trees clap their hands and sing. It's good. It's beautiful. They say if you, if you get a stethoscope, the thing the doctor hangs around his neck, and you put it on a tree, you'll actually hear that tree singing. The, the trees of the fields will clap their hands. And the sap in the trees that ripples up to those leaves makes this beautiful bubbling, gurgling, crackling, singing sound. Love and joy and peace are the fruits of the Spirit. And we go forth with love and power and a sound mind. The praises of God resonate and they make a highway for the Lord. And if the saint, if the hills and the, and the trees can clap their hands and sing, then surely we as the children of God should sing. The Bible says even the rocks will cry out. Hallelujah. Let's not let the rocks praise and the people of God don't. Let us be praisers. There's so much power in praising the Lord. The love and the joy and the peace are the first three fruits of the Spirit mentioned. We shall go forth with joy and be led forth with peace. So these are the fruits of the Spirit. And surely we are the trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that He may be glorified. So as trees of righteousness, are there fruits of joy? Is there singing in your life? Is there, do, do the mountains and the hills break forth into song and joy? You'll be led forth with peace, which is another fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, and peace are mentioned. And kindness in prayer and praise, let us make our requests known to the Lord. In Isaiah 35 and verse 10, Isaiah 35 and verse 10, and the ransom of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with songs. Everlasting joy will be upon their head. They shall obtain gladness and joy and, 
and uh, sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Hallelujah. There's a song like that. Therefore the redeemed of the Lord shall return and come with singing unto Zion. And everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. And sickness and sighing and, and all these hard things that we are going through will f- flee away. Do you know that when we enter into heaven, Jesus says he'll wipe away every tear from our eyes. Every tear. There won't be any tears in heaven. But right now, there are tears from the saints for the lost and unsaved. And if you see somebody misbehaving and doing things that are wrong, don't get angry in your heart. Start praying for them that they would return to the Lord, that there would be a joy upon their head, that God would turn their hearts and that heart of stone into a heart of flesh. Furthermore, uh, going out with joy has so many benefits. Do you know that where there is joy, there's no fear? Da, 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 da. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> no fear in joy. And there's no fear in love. God is love. And if you would go out with joy and be led by peace, the Holy Spirit. But what is the Holy Spirit? It's a symbol of the dove. If you would be led by the peace and the Holy Spirit and you would go out with joy, there would be no fear. Christians, your joy comes from a different place. Do you know that hectic things can be going on around you, but there's a deep joy that you can have from knowing God and knowing that everything is going to be okay. And I'm not talking about that, like I said now, that happy superficial joy, that emotion that comes and goes. I'm talking about a deep joy joy that the world didn't give and the world can't take away. It's a joy that comes from knowing God. It's a joy that comes from knowing that your hope is in Jesus and that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. That any difficulty, you can run through a troop and leap over a wall. You will have vigor and strength that will help you to skip over the problems and the hard circumstances that would try and press and squash and oppress you. Every difficulty that you face, know that God is with you. You're not alone. You might feel this afternoon, hey, I'm I'm alone in this thing. I want to tell you, you are not alone. The Lord Jesus is with you. He is holding your hand. Even those that are in hospital beds right now, you are not alone. The Lord Jesus is right beside you. His his hand is on your hand. His hand is on your head. And as we walk through this journey called life, everlasting joy will be on your head because Jesus brings life and love and joy wherever he goes. In John 16, 33, John 16, 33, it says, I have said this, these things to you, that you may have peace, and in, this, in the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, you have overcome the world. In this world you will have tribulations, but take heart, because you have overcome the world. Have an overcoming mentality, have a Christ-like mentality. There is so much peace and truly knowing God. This does not mean that you'll never be anxious or fear anything, because in this world there will be troubles. But take heart, you will overcome. No storm lasts forever. Every storm has an end, and soon you will be over the things that you are facing. The world is corrupt, and there is an enemy that exists. But when we cling to God and obey Him, we will find true peace right where we are. Philippians 4 verse 7. Philippians 4 verse 7. And the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your heart and your mind through Christ Jesus. So the peace of God 
that surpasses understanding. It's not understandable that you should have peace in a crazy situation. But the peace of God will guard your heart. He'll protect your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. When we have truth, when we have true peace with God, we will stop worrying about everything and start praying about everything. Then our worries will rather turn into places of deep intercessions and prayer. There's a man in the Bible called Zechariah. His wife was Elizabeth, and he had a son called John, John the Baptist. John was the last prophet before Jesus was born. Some people say the last prophet of the Old Testament, even though he's in the New Testament, because he was the very last one. He came screeching in there just before Jesus was born. In fact, he was that he was in the womb with Elizabeth the same time as Mary was pregnant. And John the Baptist is an amazing character to study. And I found that he finds himself just hiding away, saying, don't look at me, there's a greater one coming, and it's Jesus, whose sandals I'm not worthy to untie. I'm not even worthy to bow at his feet and unstrap his shoe. Jesus, the King of Kings, is coming. He said, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. Hallelujah. The, this Old Testament prophet said, I am not the light, but I come to be a witness of the light. There is one greater than I that is coming who will baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire. And he announces the coming of the Lord Jesus and repentance. And the message of John should continue in our lives today because we too should step aside and say, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. Jesus is coming back. Don't look at us, but look to Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. In Isaiah, John was prophesied of. We see many prophecies of of Jesus to come in the New Testament. But here in Isaiah 40, we see nestled away in verse 3, a voice of one crying in the wilderness. And I can imagine the hills singing in the wilderness with John. And, he's, and this voice, this prophetic voice says, prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. In the desert, a highway for God, and every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be brought low, and the crooked places shall be made straight, and the rough places shall be made smooth. And you might be going through a difficult time right now, but I declare over your valley that it will elevate and that that mountain that stands in your way will subdue. And that crooked place that wants to take you away from God will be made straight. And the rough, bumpy road that you are taking will be made smooth. And the obstacles and the demonic forces that have tried to step in your way will go. And that there will be a straight pathway to the highway of our God. That your heart would be set in the right place. And in this wilderness, there was John crying out, Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. And I pray our testimonies will be that to those around about us. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. And in these mountains and hills, the mountains and the hills were singing for joy. Hallelujah. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let earth receive her king. In Mark 1 verse 3, it says, The voice of one crying in the wilderness Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. So that's where that, prof that prophetic action became actual. And then we see, Behold, I send a messenger, and he will prepare the way before me. And the Lord, whom you seek, will suddenly come to his temple. 
even the messenger of the covenant in whom you delight. Behold, he is coming. He is the Lord of hosts. The words that you speak into the earth are very vital and very important to the road that you would take forward. Even as Pastor spoke this, this morning about calling things forth in the Spirit. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Do you not like the way things are looking right now? Start declaring by faith in the mighty name of Jesus that circumstances will turn around. That that heavy valley that you're going through will elevate and the mountains will be made low in the mighty name of Jesus. Words are powerful. Remember that God spoke one word and the whole, he said, let there be light and light came. Imagine the sun out of the mouth of God, like light. I mean, that's a burnt out star. The stars and every light that we see came out of the mouth of God when he said, let there be light. And he created the heavens and the earth by the spoken word. And in our lives, he wants us to speak words. He wants us to stretch out our faith. Fresh anointing and supernatural breakthrough is upon you this afternoon. It is up to you to decide, I'm going to go out with joy, and I'm going to be led forth with peace, and I will have no room for fear. I would like you to just stand this afternoon and absorb a word that the Lord has prompted me to say over your life this afternoon. Father God, as your children lift their hands in your presence. I pray for a fresh anointing. I pray for a supernatural breakthrough on a whole new level. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that they will be led forth with peace by the Holy Spirit. According to 1 Corinthians verse 13, I pray that the love of God will flood over their lives Love, love, love like never before in the name of Jesus. I pray that joy will overflow and that there will be sudden increase. A sudden increase in the name of Jesus. Goodness and mercy and floods of love and power and joy to overflow in your life. I decree and declare in the mighty name of Jesus that every valley will be filled, every hill to be brought low. At the mention of the name of Jesus, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. You are a chosen generation. Put on a mindset of Christ. Let the hand of the Almighty lead you, deliver you, guide you in the supernatural realm. Let abundance and breakthrough. Come out on every corner. Bust out on every section of your life, in your marriage, in your finances, in your every step you take, that there will be a spring in your step. There will be a joy in your heart. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and declare faith to rise up in Jesus' name. I call breakthrough into existence. I boldly call through breakthrough, breakthrough today according to the Word of God. For the Word of God says that the lands have fallen for you in pleasant places, pleasant places. You will honor the Lord with all your heart and all your soul and all your mind. The blessing of the Lord is about to chase you down. The blessing of the Lord is going to overtake you. The blessing of the Lord will rest upon your head and there will be a supernatural divine presence, a supernatural favor, a supernatural joy, a supernatural love, a supernatural understanding of the Word of God. I speak into the heavenly realms and I pray that God would drop down favor. Divine doors are about to open in your life this afternoon. Divine doors, there I see promotion, I see fruit fruitfulness to 
Every evil door that the enemy has tried to open against your marriages, I shut it up now in the name of Jesus. I shut up anything that is not of God. Father God, I thank you for healing in the marriages, healing in the financial situations. Turn things around spiritually, mentally, financially, in marriages and relationships. Heal relationships between children and fathers, fathers and sons. People in the congregation, let there be good relationships. Father God, I thank you that our hearts would be set upon you. Health is yours in the name of Jesus. We slam shut the door on the enemy and we open up a highway for the Lord. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that God is perfecting all things concerning you. God is perfecting all things concerning you. According to Psalm 138 and verse 8, the Lord will perfect all that concerns me. His mercy endures forever. God is perfecting all that concerns you according to his word. As his word is falling upon you right now in the, and breakthrough is coming right now, I feel, I sense breakthrough is dropping down from the heavens upon the heads of the righteous. Mighty God, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I pray that you will revive us again this afternoon. Every child of God to be revived. Every place in their life that has been uh, has been dormant and laying as if it were dead to live let the desert places blossom in Jesus name drop rain of your spirit healing rain into the soil of the soul and let it live let us surrender to you in the in the mighty name of Jesus every child of God to be revived with a supernatural breakthrough soldiers of the cross take your position right now. Soldiers of the cross, I command you in the name of Jesus to take your position right now. Know that you are an overcomer. Say, I am an overcomer. I am an overcomer. I take my position in the spirit. I put on the mind of Christ right now. I will get closer to God. I will take my position in prayer. I take charge of the circumstances and the situations that have tried to get me down. And I'm going to stand up. I'm going to stand up in the middle of my storm. No matter what I am going through, it is essential, soldiers, to take up the mind of Christ. Us. Know that the effective, fervent prayer of the righteous man and the righteous woman availeth much. Oh God, we praise you in this time. Continually let the praises of God be in our mouth and the two-edged sword of God in our hand. Let us march into Zion as brave soldiers. Lord, we know that in this world we will have troubles, but we will overcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that you sent your son to die on a cross that we can have this victory and Lord God how dare us to not take what you've given us on that cruel cross and Father God I thank you that in the mighty name of Jesus, you would set a burning desire inside of our hearts to serve you like never before. Father God, I thank you that you are showing up right in the fiery trial. You are showing up. You are pouring out your spirit. I thank you for supernatural zeal, the zeal of God to fall upon your life today. The zeal of God is falling upon your life today. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are going to have a new strength, a new divine strength to serve God like never before and repent of any sin that is in your life. No sin can stand or glory in the presence of God. And as we repent of any sin, we pray that you would heal our hearts and heal our land in the name of Jesus. Father God, I thank you according to 1 John chapter 1 and verse 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and he is just to forgive us of all our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. 
God, I come to you with my life today. I choose to honor you. I choose that I will go forth with joy. I'll be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth with singing before me. The trees of the fields will clap their hands, and we will be trees of righteousness, a planting of the Lord, and there will be fruit of joy, peace, love, long-suffering, every fruit that you desire to bubble up inside of our lives. And Father God, as we, we leave this place even later on this afternoon. I pray that we will not leave the way we came, but we'll be leaving here enthused with the power of the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Lord God, you are awesome in this place. Thank you that sickness is gone. Thank you that peace is here. And joy rests upon our head. And in the mighty name of Jesus, we give you all the praise. And I thank you, Father God, that if this ministry has resonated with the people in the sanctuary or the people online, that they would consider sowing a financial seed into this ministry, that we would continue to serve the Lord with gladness. And as we lift our hands, we declare out loud that Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to call mom to the front this afternoon. I'm in love with a wonderful friend Who gives life that never will end Yes, he died on the tree To redeem you and me This wonderful, wonderful friend Yes, I love this wonderful friend Jesus, you will serve to the end Till the day that I see you in all your glory, my wonderful, wonderful friend. There's a day when he's coming again, when this world our Jesus will reign. What a day that will be when Jesus we see. How wonderful.